Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Life Enthusiasts. So today's video is brought to you by Carter's Boots and Repair. Now Carter's Boots and Repair is an online retailer located in Montana and they sell cowboy boots from brands such as Honda Boots, Anderson Bean, Macy Bean, Horsepower, and their own brand of cowboy boots, which is Carter's Boots. Also, they sell non-Western work boots, a bunch of leather goods, leather care products, and they also have a full service shoe repair. So if y'all ever want to send your boots to get resold, that is the perfect place to do it. And you can send it to the count folks at Carter's Boots. So today's video is going to be on a pair of Hondo boots. And these are a limited edition Rust Nubuck Bull Hide. So let's get into it. So first thing I wanted to point out on this box is these two labels right here. Now this label right here is from Hondo Boots and this is from Carter's Boots. Now the Hondo Boot label says style number 3474 Rust Nubug Bullhide Rust Volcano and on the Carter's Boots label it says Hondo Limited Edition Rust Volcano. Now. The reason why this is the limited edition uh, boot is because I think they messed up on the order and accidentally put a different color stitching on the shaft. So they got about six or seven of those uh, that have this different color shaft stitching, which it really doesn't matter. Uh, and that's what makes them a limited edition. So there's only about six or seven of this actual boot. now. I'm going to put a picture right here of the non-limited edition so y'all could actually see it. I uh, think just the stitching is brown and on this one it has a little bit of blue stitching. But besides that, everything on the boot should be exactly the same. So let's go ahead and get into this boot review. So here they are. I'm going to open the box. Now the box is a standard Hondo box with this uh, traditional uh, picture right here uh, This company was founded in the 60s. So they've done things very Traditional and kept it that way too. So the box looks really traditional. So we're gonna unbox them. Here they are and uh, Also on the inside you got your Hondo shaft shapers, which I definitely recommend that y'all keep them as always uh, to Make sure that the shaft always stays upright while storing there we go. And here we are. Now, the first thing I noticed about these boots is the awesome intoxicating leather smell. They just smell phenomenal. And um, as always, we're going to start with the sole of the boot. So we got a leather sole with one row of brass nails and one row of lemon wood pegs right here so using the best of both worlds right there and then you got a nice underslung buckaroo style heel with a rubber cap and this is a leather stacked heel and on the back you got a nice spur shelf right here very big spur shelf which i really do like and they got this plastic cover right here just to actually uh, protect that spur shelf. So I really do like that a lot. Now, uh, this is a single stitch Goodyear welt, uh, very traditionally made. Now, this is a rare thing right here because you got a square toe, but it's been refined really well by just using a single stitch welt, which I do like that a lot. I think it looks much better than the double stitch weld it's kind of a mix between a wide square toe and a seven toe so i do like that a lot uh also so on the vamp you got this nice bull hide it's a new book uh feels really nice and supple you know it's it's thick a lot of folks thinks that automatically bull hide is going to be uh very tough tougher than cowhide 
but this is from the neck i'm guessing and it's really supple but very tough so it's a really good working boot um and then you got your toe bug and it's kind of a volcano uh stitching pattern now this matches really nice with the rest of the vamp and uh on the counter you got a nice sturdy counter right here really holds your foot well and uh the shaft is a 14 inch shaft now this is the stitching i was talking about so they got this kind of a violet blue then onto a mango brown and then a yellow all up here looks really nice with that nice brown leather then they got these gold rings right here for pool holes and then uh they got these things that they look like pool tabs but they're not pool tabs they're actually made from the same material so they got that uh new bug bull hide right here on there and essentially if you don't want to use the pool holes you could actually grab these right there and they got a lot of grip and you could actually pull your boots on too so you don't always have to use the pool holes you could actually use this too but you can't get inside this is stitched all the way uh i do like the 14 inch shaft it's a little bit different it's not a 13 it's not the big 16 that we reviewed last time but uh these are really nice and on the inside you got cowhide lining all the way through with a nice looking seam very comfortable now one of the interesting thing is it says vamp cowhide and top cowhide now we all know this is bull hide uh it says it on the box and everywhere and i mean we all know it's bull hide but it says cowhide so i thought that was an interesting thing but i guess similar being that you know it's just a male version of a cow so uh, on the inside also you have this hondo label right here that says hondo boots el paso texas made in mexico so they are made in mexico but the company is from el paso texas and one thing that i love about hondo boots is how traditionally uh they are made they have a hard leather insole right here coming up about uh halfway across the heel or the whole way across the heel and i really do love that that's exactly how boots have been made and i think it just is perfect it imprints better and everything and it ends up being more comfortable in the long run but these boots are so supple they'll break in really nice so um let's go ahead and try on these boots all right, so last time I grabbed a pair of Hondos for review, they were in a size 12 and I felt that they were a bit tight on me. So I jumped up to the 12 and a half this time and I grabbed my redhead socks, which are a little bit thicker. So that ought to do the trick just fine. All right, let's try them on. Use the pool holes on this one and felt a nice pop, really comfortable really nice supple uh bull hide and uh i feel like this is gonna break in just fine and be real comfortable all right now i'm going to use those uh stitch pull tabs to put these boots on see how it does perfect so both systems work really good here we go so i got these lighter jeans right here show y'all how they look all right they're really comfortable and uh they look really good especially with that single stitch welt really refines the boot so here's a sock profile here's the front got the top other side and the back now these jeans stack a lot and one thing i could say is that this spur shelf really does help 
keep things uniform and looking good. So I really do like how these look with jeans that stack a little bit more, especially that they're a bit of a buckaroo boot. Really do love these and the quality is really nice and nice thick sole. All right, so let's go ahead and go for an extended test. All right, so changing to some darker denim work jeans and uh, cutting off that tag and getting ready to break them in. Fits like a glove. Now it's time to get the saddle in and get going. Better time than ever to get some traction on these boots. And we're on our way. And just like that, we're here. I'll take advantage of this pavement to get a little bit more traction. Now it's time to get that saddle out of the trunk. Boy, that saddle looks pretty, especially next to these Hondos. Now it's time to take my friend's saddle out of the tack room to get it all nice and conditioned with some mink oil. Now these Hondos are nice and clean, but this saddle is dusty. So we're going to start by wiping it down to get some of that dust and dirt off this saddle just like we would our cowboy boots. Looks better already, but we ain't done yet. Now it's time to hand apply a little bit of mink oil all over this saddle. This will help prevent dry rotting and breaking. Not to mention that it'll make the saddle look really good. While oiling this saddle, it is definitely starting to resemble the shade of the boots. Now on to the other side.
just like that, we are done. Now that's a good looking saddle. Now it's time to kick up our boots, but not for too long. Got to feed the animals. Start off with a little bit of hay. For some reason they enjoy it more when I kick it around for them. enjoy that ain't it though can't forget the green they don't share too well so I gotta get them each one better get it fast before them chickens eat it all to put in some grains in the chicken coop. And the hog already ate, but I always give them a little bit of grain as a treat. So they're all set and everybody's eating happy. All right, y'all. So I didn't get to ride today, but I got to do a couple things. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching uh, how these boots look while I was doing these various things and how they perform and kind of got an idea. But here's my conclusion on these Hondo boots. Uh, as far as a working boot, this is a phenomenal boot. And I'll tell y'all why. Uh, first of all, the fact that it is a new bug bull hide, it is going to be very thick, but it's also going to be very supple. So it's going to be very comfortable right out of the bat. You know, uh, that thick and supple skin is going to just work really well. The fact that it is probably from the bull's neck, it is going to be very supple. Uh, and thick so it's going to endure a lot of things also the fact that it is new buck it's going to patina really well so as these boots age they're just going to get better and better looking um, also i love the fact that it is an underslung heel that it is a uh, buckaroo boot kind of has a modern take on an old-fashioned boot you know buckaroo boots were are pretty old fashioned, but Hondo's actually no stranger to making buckaroos. And this is a modern buckaroo because it still has that uh, wide square toe and that underslung heel and that taller 14 inch shaft. So that's really awesome. Also, uh, some folks really love the comfort of wide square toe, but they don't like the whole wide square toe look with the double stitch welt and everything. And the fact that this has a single stitch welt really refines the boot a bit and makes it look a whole lot better. So um, if y'all are on the fence about getting the double stitch well and you just like the comfort of a wide square toe, well, I think this will be the perfect boot for y'all. Also, that spur shelf really helps if you're a rider and you wanna put some spurs. Sure, you don't need spur shells, but it really does help. And this one is really well done. Uh, the whole finish on it is really well done, actually. 
Uh, you can see the quality and the material. And talk about quality and the material. This sole is extremely thick. So that's why, you know, when folks said that Hondo boots are built like tanks, this is what they meant. Uh, they got this really thick sole. So it takes forever before you actually need a resole. And once you do need a resole, you really pray that your cobbler could actually provide you a sole that's that thick. Cause I mean, this is really, really good. And that's kind of getting a really good value also because you're getting all that sole. So you, you're not gonna need a resole for quite some time. And the quality's there. Uh, there there's not really any imperfection that I could see. Now, um, of course, every boot has something that uh, might not be uh, perfect. Now, uh, this boot is no different. The only thing that I've noticed is, in my personal preference, I'm not too big of a fan of the wide stitching, but it didn't take too long for them to actually get dirty. And I think with what I will be using this boot for, it will end up getting dirty and just uh, end up actually not even being able to be seen. It'll be gray or black and they'll just kind of blend in with the boot a bit more. And the other thing is I did get a little bit of a scratch on my calf and I think it's just down to this Hondo logo. Now that's not a big deal. Uh, if y'all want to take that off, it actually just kind of peels off if you want it to. So I think that's the main thing, but I'm going to try to glue it on a little bit better. But if it keeps uh, coming off, I'm just going to take it off and it's not going to scratch my uh, calf anymore. But this boot is a wonderful boot and I definitely recommend it, especially if y'all are going to be using it as a work boot uh, or a dress up boot. If, if y'all actually like how it looks for, for dressing and that's perfectly fine. I mean, definitely that single stitch welt makes it look a whole lot better. Um, so this boot now is actually coming in at $320 for the limited edition. And it is coming in at $300 for the non-limited edition. Uh, I will actually leave the link in the description below for both the limited and the non-limited. Now, they only have seven of these boots in existence in the limited edition. Uh, so if y'all want it, jump on it because actually now they have six because this one's mine. Uh, so they have only six of them left. But this boot at 320 or $300 is a great value, especially if y'all are going to be wearing it every day uh, for working because you're going to get a lot of value out of that sole. And that's one of the things that people do love about Hondo boots. Another thing that I really love is the fact that they're so traditionally made that seam is perfect and also the hard leather insole is great. I just really do love that. And it'll be my tallest boot as far as the shaft. And I don't mind the 14 inch shaft. It's really good, you know, especially if y'all are going to be working and uh, putting your jeans inside. If y'all have anything to do, this boots will resist a little bit of water and uh, uh, things like that. That's one of the great things about new book. So, all around an amazing boot. Uh, I gotta say that's why Hondo has been in business for so long and people really do love their boots. Uh, they're out of El Paso, Texas, and they just make some really great boots. Now they do make them in Mexico, but definitely under very strict standards. Now, uh, if y'all actually want these boots, yes, they are $320 or $300 for the non-limited. But if y'all use my promo code, right down here, you guys could actually get 10% off at quarters boots for these boots, even the limited, and also for any other boots that they have. So y'all go ahead and uh, take advantage of that promo code. That is all I have for y'all today. I hope you guys like this video and please leave me in the, in the comment section below if y'all actually prefer the limited edition with these kind of stitching, or if y'all prefer the non-limited that they have. Uh, that is all I have for y'all today. I hope y'all like this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends who actually might be able to take advantage of the promo code. And I'll see you on the next one.